Hello everyone and welcome. You know, it's been quite a while since the last time I did a review of an automotive OBD2 scanner. So I thought it was about time I tested another OBD2 scanner and this time I decided to test this new scanner from Top Done. Now I've tested other equipment from Top Done before and they seem to produce good quality products. So this time I thought I would test their automotive scanner and see how they stack up against other name brand scanners on the market. That is why today we'll be looking at the Top Done RT Diag Pro OBD2 Diagnostic Scan Tool that is updated for 2024. This is not your entry level scanner. This is an OE level bi-directional scanner with many high end features that can help you avoid trips to the dealership as we'll be discussing. So if you've been looking for a full featured OBD2 scanner that doesn't cost a fortune, stick around as I unbox and test this puppy today. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has. But before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you get notified every time I do another product review video, DIY project, or a sale at a big box store where I can help you guys save even more money. Alright then, so this is the RT Diag Pro Bidirectional OBD2 Scanner from Top Done, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $479.99, but they also have a $24 discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if you're not a Prime member and you join Prime, you can get this entire kit for as little as $399. That might be a good reason to join Prime. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the scanner itself, get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the scanner, how to get it hooked up, all that kind of good stuff. You get a hard case to keep it all in when you're not using it, and all the different components. Well, you start off with three different connectors for powering this guy up. No matter what region you're in, you'll be covered. You have North American, UK, and EU, so you're covered no matter where you go. You also have the USB cable to hook up to these guys to power this guy up. It also comes with the OBD2 cable because this unit is not wireless. You have to plug it into your vehicle to be able to do the scanning. You have an FCA128 cable, which we'll talk about later. And you also have specialty adapters for special vehicles like Mercedes, Audi, etc. Now this guy comes with a one-year warranty. And this guy also comes with two years free software update. Now let me explain a little bit about how that works because sometimes people get a little confused as to how these updates work on these scanners. So what happens is you get the two years of free update and then after that expires you have a choice whether to pay to continue to get updates or if you choose not to you don't have to pay to get any more updates. It'll stop at that point as far as the updates go but the scanner will continue to work and you can continue to use it free of charge from then on. Think of it sort of like your tablet or your phone. Whenever Apple or Android stops giving you updates, your device still keeps working, right? This is the same thing. All it means is that the device continues to work, but you will not have the latest updates for whatever changes occur in newer vehicles after you stop getting the updates. So if you have older vehicles, it'll continue to work for whatever current vehicles you have, but you will not get updates going forward for future vehicles. So your device will continue to work. You have nothing to worry about that. If you don't want to get updates, you'll be perfectly fine. Keep on using it as long as you want to. Now the dimensions on this guy are 9 inches by 6 inches by 2 inches. And that only weighs 1.5 pounds. This unit runs on an upgraded 4 core 1.5 gigahertz CPU. And it has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of ROM. This unit runs on the Android 7 operating system right out of the box, but part of the update is also the operating system. So when a newer OS is available, you'll get that update as well if you continue getting updates. This scanner is powered by a 6100 milliamp battery, which has a runtime of up to 14 hours of battery life with the screen being used continuously. This scanner has an auto VIN function, so it will automatically get all the info on the vehicle that you're scanning once you get started diagnosing it. This scanner also supports ECU coding for adding or deleting special functions in your vehicle's ECU. Be careful when you're doing that, always make a backup in case you make a mistake. Now this is an OE level OBD2 scanner with 31 resets or maintenance functions plus bi-directional control. 
This scanner allows you to communicate with and test such components on your vehicles, such as the engine, transmission, airbag, ABS, ESP, TPMS, immobilizer, gateway, steering, radio, air conditioning, and more. The bi-directional feature of this scanner allows you to activate certain functions in your vehicle through the scanner bypassing the computer control. This allows you to test if the problem is in the component or someplace else. This unit allows you to perform bi-directional actuation for testing such items as your sunroof, fuel injector, seats, wipers, lights, and more. These functions will vary depending on your vehicle and model. The 31 reset or maintenance functions this scanner has include such functions as oil reset, EPB, SAS recalibration, BMS reset, NOx reset, TPMS reset, injector coating, gearbox reset, ABS bleeding, sunroof reset, immobilizer, suspension reset, AFS reset, gear learning, and more. This scanner can generate diagnostic reports for printing or sharing via email. This scanner can be used in 10 different languages, such as English, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Japanese, Italian, Korean, and Chinese. This scanner also gives you the ability to bypass the FCA gateway using the included 12A cable for adding or deleting keys as needed. You won't need to visit the dealer and pay extra for any key problems you may have. This scanner is also compatible with over 100 different brands for such places as North America, Asia, Europe, and more. So this scanner is a very advanced yet affordable scanner that can help the mechanic or the DIYer to maintain many OE level functions on their modern vehicle without having to spend time or money at a dealership. Communicate with, test, and repair just about any component in your vehicle including adding keys, replacing lost keys, and many more. So let's do a little bit of testing with this guy and see how it performs. All right guys, so let's take a little closer look at the scanner and get a little more familiar with some of the features that it has. This is the startup screen that you see when you first turn it on, hook it up to your vehicle, etc. You have the diagnostic screen. You have the different services right there. Remote assistance, uh, that's where you talk to Top Done, and they help you out if you have any kind of problem. I am readiness, that's for like a smog check, that kind of thing. Your vehicle emissions testing, all that stuff. Feedback, if you want to send them some feedback. Upgrade, that's where you do all your updates and so forth. Any new software that's come out that you want to update. Other modules, that's just a few other things like you have your data, whatever data you have stored, battery voltage, or if you want to go onto the internet, you can use Chrome and do searching for different codes and stuff like that. This unit will do it right for you. Right here, you don't need to go onto a computer to do it. And the settings right there is if you want to go through and set up all the different things in this unit and your network, time, language, all that kind of good stuff. So that's pretty basic, pretty understandable. The services, that's all the different resets and so forth. And you can look right through there. If you're interested in this scanner and you want to know if it's compatible with your vehicle, you can look right through here and I'll go slowly so you can see all the different things that are available with this scanner and you can see if it works for your vehicle or not. And let's go up a little bit here so you can see some more. And these are some of the resets uh, functions that it has. And you can do this uh, again. It's all limited based upon the model and make of your vehicle. Just because the scanner can do it doesn't mean that your vehicle can do it. So some functions will not be available on some vehicles, but the scanner will still have the ability to do it if your vehicle is equipped with it. So there you have that stuff. Now going back over here, I am readiness for that stuff. Basically it has to communicate to the vehicle and I haven't been running it today, so it should not be ready to tell me anything. This is basically information that's stored in the computer from the previous time that I ran the vehicle. I haven't even turned it on today, but according to the previous information, this tells you everything you need to know right there. If you're ready for your smog test, emissions test, etc. Everything seems to be okay as far as this guy is concerned. Let's go back. And let's do a little bit of diagnosing and so forth and see what that goes. But first, let me show you the upgrades. If you're curious about that, it's a one-touch update for all your different features that it has. You can see there's some updates that are pending right there that I haven't done. And if you click on that, it'll hook up to your network, which I already have it all hooked up. And it'll tell you what's available. And then you just scroll down and see all the different things that are available. And it tells you what the latest updates are and stuff like that software version, which ones you have and which ones you can update to. And that tells you everything right there. And you just go through 
and find the ones that you want to do. If you're a DIYer, you may not want to do them all. You may only want to do the ones that apply to you. If you're a mechanic, you're probably going to want to do everything because you want to have your full featured scan tool ready for any vehicle that comes into your shop. Let's go back. All right, so let's do a little bit of diagnosing here. Now let's do the auto detect. And then it goes through and basically scans all the different uh, modules in the vehicle. And it tells you right on that side there, everything is perfectly normal. There's no problems. Just a little disclaimer at the bottom. Everything in this vehicle is normal as far as it can tell. There's no problem with any of the different components. These are all the components that my vehicle is equipped with. Every vehicle will be different. Even other Mustangs will be different than mine. So the scanner needs to find out what your vehicle has and then it'll do a scanning based upon that. And then you can share it. You see the share button down there. If you want to share it with uh, you know somebody else or store it away for your own records, whatever the case may be, you can even produce a QR code if you want. So that's very convenient. And then let's back out of here. And right here basically gives you all the different components that are available. It says right there, everything's fine. Now you can go into each individual one if you want to and get more information if you're having a problem with it and you want to do some live testing and so forth. Let's go into the powertrain control module. And then on here, as you can see, once you go into a given module or a computer in your vehicle, then you can do different things with it. You can have actuation tests, OBD2 functions, clear fault memory, module information, read fault codes, all that kind of good stuff. Let's read some data and see what that tells us. And then to read the data, you have to basically select what you want to look at. So let me go through here and pick out something to look at, and then we'll graph it and see what it looks like. All right, so I selected a few different items. Let me start the vehicle so we can see it in action. Select, select these items. And you can see I have a few different ones going on right there. I have a total of five different things that we can look at and that gives you an idea of the long term to short term fuel trim and the rpms of the uh, engine as it's running and you can create a report down there you can record the information you can combine all these etc and then you can graph them individually by clicking that over there let's combine them and take a look at it in the graph mode Well, you can only do four graphs at a given time. So let's take a look at these guys. And there you go. That gives you a graph of the four different things that you select. Not a bad little graph. Pretty clear, easy to see. Very easy to understand and see what's going on. Let me give it some gas and see what it'll do. That's pretty convenient if you're doing some diagnosing. Let's back that up. And let's get rid of the RPMs and look at long and short trim. So on this scanner, you can only select four items. And there you go. That gives you the four different items that you want to look at. And it's fairly responsive. I think it reacts very quickly to my pedal input. So it does a decent job as far as that goes. And it's very nice graphics, very easy to read. So let's back out of here. So it's very easy to go back and basically select whatever you want if you need to do other kind of scanning. But at least right here, without the graph, you can see things numerically and you can see a lot more information because you're not limited to just four items. You can see as many as you like. 
And if for some reason we wanted to look at the different O2 sensors, we can just pull them all up right there and take a look at them. And that gives you an indication of what's going on with those guys. You can see right there, the information may be what you want or not. You may have to look at different things and see what you want. Oh, and I still have the fuel trim on there. So you see no air on those two and the other ones are on. And then that's the RPMs up there still on. So this one doesn't give you a numerical representation. It just tells you if it's on or off or if there's an error. Different things will give you different information. You have to basically understand the scanner and what you can get from it to do your proper diagnosing. Not everything will be numeric. Some things will be more helpful as a graph and some things will be just an on off function or error, no error. So sometimes people get frustrated with scanners because they just don't know how to use them properly. You have to understand the scanner can only give you so much information. You have to figure out how to interpret that information to help you with your diagnosing. The scanner is not a silver bullet that's going to tell you everything that's either right or wrong with your vehicle. So let's get out of here. And there you have a lot of different things. Actuation test on this vehicle. There's a lot of different things on here that we can choose to do. And again, this can help you with diagnosing or not because all these different things, I can turn them on and off and see what is happening or not happening and see if it's a problem with the computer or the device itself, etc. Let me turn off the vehicle. And you can see right there, like the fuel pump, for example, if that's giving you trouble, you can activate it manually instead of having the vehicle do it for you. I'm not going to do that now because I don't have any problems. The fan high speed control, let's try that. You see, you can turn it on or off. You see that down there and it tells you up there, right there, it's off. Let's see. You can hear it going right now. And I just turned it off and the vehicle is off. So the vehicle is not controlling it. That's one of the convenient things about having bi-directional control. You can control different parts of your vehicle and find out what the problem is. And different vehicles will have different functions available to them. This one, you can see all the different things on there. If I had a problem with the EVAP system or any of that kind of stuff, I could go through there and check it out this way and see what needs to be done. And there you have the fan low control speed. It's the same thing as the other one, but it's the low control. You can probably hear that also, but it's at a lower speed because it's the low control speed. So if I was having a problem with my fan, I can check and see the high, the low, etc. if it's going on or off, and if it does it when it's supposed to. So there you go. That shows you a few different things that you can do with this scanner, and it's very convenient. You have all the different functions right there. Module information tells you everything about the module, and that may be important if you need to swap out a module, make sure you have something compatible with what you want to do. Special functions, what do we have for this vehicle? Well, that tells you right there all the different things I can do on this particular vehicle. And there you go. Every vehicle will be different. This one so far, we have no problems whatsoever. So this scanner is telling me I have nothing to worry about. I could go get a state admissions test tomorrow and not have any problem at all because everything seems to be running just fine. So there you go. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a powerful yet affordable bi-directional OE level OBD2 scanner from Top Gun. I think this is a very nice scanner for the DIYer. Very easy to use, has a lot of professional level functions, has a clear and easy to read large touchscreen display, and all that at a lower price than what some other scanners charge. Over the years, I've tested many scanners from many manufacturers, and this one is a good mid-range scanner at a reasonable price. That is why sometimes in other videos, I warn people not to buy some scanners that are overpriced for the few features that they give you. Here you have a tablet scanner with a ton of features for what Harbor Freight charges for some of their scanners that don't even come close to this one. For doing all sorts of resets and calibrations on your modern vehicles, this is a good scanner to have on hand. 
Check out the links below for all the details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.